Hello everybody. This middle school math video is about operations with fractions. Our lesson is multiplying mixed numbers. The main thing you need to know about multiplying mixed numbers is that you cannot multiply mixed numbers. What you have to do is convert any mixed number to an improper fraction. Here's how we show our work. We're going to take this first fraction of 3 and 1 third and convert it to an improper fraction. We know that the denominator will always stay the same, so it's a good idea to write that denominator in first and then come back and figure out the numerator. To do that, we multiply these two numbers here, 3 times 3 is 9, add 1, and then we get our numerator of 10. And then we have to do the same thing on the next fraction. Keep your denominator and then just figure out your numerator. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So now we're multiplying simple fractions. Remember, before you multiply, can you cancel any common factors? We have a 9 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator. They can both be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. How about the 10 and the 8? They have a common factor of 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now there are no common factors. We can multiply straight across. We get 15 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator. What do you notice about this fraction? It's improper. So one more step to go. We're going to change this to a proper mixed number. Give yourself some room for that whole number and put in your denominator of 4. How many times does 4 go into 15? That would be 3 times. 4 times 3 is 12, and we need 3 more to make 15. Let's practice another example. Here again, we have mixed numbers. We cannot multiply with mixed numbers, so we need a step to convert these to improper fractions. Our first fraction has a denominator of 3, so we keep that, and then we figure out our numerator by multiplying and adding. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Do the same thing on your second fraction. 10 times 2 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Okay, before we multiply, cancel common factors. 8 and 10 have a common factor of 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. 21 and 3 they can both be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. No more common factors. Multiply across. 4 times 7 is 28, and 1 times 5 is 5. Again, we end up with this improper fraction, so we need to put it into a proper mixed number, which would be 5 and 3 fifths. All right, let's practice this one here. Six and one quarter times one and one fifth. Can't multiply with mixed numbers, so we need to change these to improper fractions. Our first fraction will have a numerator of 25. In our second fraction, we're going to have a numerator of six. So now that we have simple fractions, we multiply across, but remember, before you do that, cancel common factors. 25 and 5, that's the obvious one. They can both be divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 gives us 5, and over here, we're left with a factor of 1. And then we have a 6 and a 4, and they can both be divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now we can multiply straight across. 5 times 3, that's 15, and 2 times 1 is 2. Once again, we have this improper fraction. We need one more step to change it to a proper mixed number. Let's practice one more. 2 and 1 tenth times 4 and 7 over 12. So again, we have these mixed numbers that we need to convert to improper fractions. Just a reminder, these denominators will never change. And so it's a good idea to put those in first and then come back and just figure out your numerators by multiplying, adding. In this case, we'll have 21. This one's a little bit harder, so slow down. We have 12 times 4, that would be 48, add 7, 
and then we get 55. Now, with this kind of question, we see why we want to cancel before we multiply. We would get really large numbers if we multiplied first. So if you haven't watched my earlier videos on multiplying simple fractions, uh, I go into more detail there and we slow it down a bit on canceling before we multiply. In this example, we have a 21 in the numerator and a 12 in the denominator. They can both be divided by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then we have a 55 in the numerator, a 10 in the denominator. They can both be divided by 5, and so that will leave us with 11 here and 2 there. No more common factors, so we can multiply straight across. We get 7 times 11 is 77, and then 2 times 4 is 8. Now, this one is improper, so we need to go down to a proper mixed number. Give yourself some room for that whole number. Put in your denominator of 8. This one's a little bit larger numbers, so 8 goes into 77 how many times? That would be 9. 8 times 9 is 72, and we need 5 more to make 77. All right, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your studies. If you're interested in a worksheet that goes with this lesson, there is a download link in the description.